What I would recommend you to do, if you are unsure about selling something to someone, if you are unsure about a person, ask someone from the community, hey, is this guy legit? But if I see someone like asking, I drop a quick yes or no because I quickly can see, you know, and I don't want people to get scammed. Also, always check the Steam rep. I see a lot of people not checking the Steam rep. Always keep your authenticator safe. The authenticator is the key to your skins, but there's more to it. First of all, what I would recommend if you have an inventory with a value that is a lot in your eyes, make sure to buy a second phone. You don't want to carry around your authenticator everywhere you go. For the phone, of course, you can buy a SIM card cheap. If you live in the EU, the SIM cards will delete themselves. They will delete the number after half a year of no usage. So make sure to always remember to load up balance. Second of all, passwords. Don't reuse your passwords. That's not just for Steam, but also for everything. Your Steam password, you shouldn't have it anywhere else. And it shouldn't be a password of text or something like password123. I don't think that's the safest password. Yeah, I would use a password manager if you don't use one already. The key to all of your accounts, the email. People can recover accounts by using your email. If your email is hacked, your Steam account is probably hacked. Which means that your email account should be really secure as well. Maybe you should use a completely different email account for your Steam account. Make sure that you do receive notifications though, because in case something happens, that you do receive an email, maybe something like someone logged into your account. You don't want to miss that, you know? Slam two-factor authentication on it. The most important thing, do not use any emails where you can't have 2FA, it's not worth it. One thing that's very important for iPhone users, you go into your settings and turn off Steam backups. What hackers do and did is to clone your Steam app by putting a backup onto their phone of your Steam application and how it works. Their phone will then be your authenticator. Imagine someone manages to log into your Steam without having the authenticator. They can't send skins their way, but what they can do is boot up CSGO, go into a match, install VAC detectable cheats and get your account VAC banned. And there's pretty much no way of getting back your account. So yeah, what you can do against that is something called Steam Family View. Family View is basically before you are able to boot up a game, CSGO in this sense, they have to enter a code. 